probably seen me talking about ice baths on social media, or maybe you saw Tony Robbins starting his day with cold plunges, or tons of CEOs and athletes doing it. We're all doing it because it works. And what you're gonna hear is that cold exposure improves metabolism, mood, sleep, discipline, even your entire personality. But do ice baths really work? Or is this just another hustle culture ritual that somebody, maybe me, dressed up as a productivity hack? Well, I have been doing this for 15 years, and they do work. But most people are doing it wrong. Whether an ice bath helps or hurts depends on one critical detail, and it's a detail that almost no one talks about. See, most people treat ice baths like a badge of honor. Sit in freezing water, grit your teeth, and then post a photo online and say something about mental toughness. And yeah, there's discipline in doing hard things. But if that's all you think it is, you're missing the real transformation. Because under the surface, deep inside your cells, something extraordinary is happening. You only think of fat as one thing, something that we wanna lose. But your body actually has two types of fat. There's white fat and then there's brown fat. White fat stores energy and brown fat burns it. Research from the National Institutes of Health claims brown fat breaks down blood sugar and fat molecules to create heat and help maintain body temperature. Unlike white fat, which just sits there, brown fat is metabolically active. It pulls in glucose and fat from your bloodstream and it burns it to generate heat. Because when you step into that freezing water, you're flipping a biological switch. That switch is called cold thermogenesis. It's your body's natural survival response to cold exposure. When you activate it, it turns on your brown fat like a furnace. That same research shows that cold temperatures activate brown fat, leading to various metabolic changes in the body. In other words, ice baths turn your body into a fat burning machine without lifting a single weight. And researchers can measure this. A landmark study by the Journal of Clinical Investigation found that regular cold exposure can increase your energy expenditure by up to 80%. It means your body burns more calories, not just during the plunge, but long after you've dried off. Cold exposure increases your resting metabolic rate and it makes your mitochondria more efficient. That makes your biology shift from storage mode to burn mode. So while most of us are out there grinding through workouts and chasing calorie deficits, well, we're missing out on the opportunity to work with our biology instead of against it. And that's the real story here. Therefore, if you understand cold thermogenesis, you can use ice baths as a real tool for fat burning and energy. But that's just one piece of the puzzle. Because even if you're burning more fat, you won't make real progress without understanding this one thing first. See, there's a reason people struggle to lose weight, even if they spend hours at the gym every single day. Like I did, I used to weigh 300 pounds. They think the secret to fat loss is burning more calories. They train harder, they push longer, and assume the results will follow. But over time, they plateau, injuries creep in, and motivation dips. It's not because you're lazy, it's because you're missing the recovery piece. But recovery isn't passive. It's one of the most active things you can do to drive results. And when it comes to accelerating that process, cold is your ally. Intense exercise floods your body with inflammation. Micro tears in your muscles, oxidative stress, elevated cortisol. That's all part of the adaptation process. But if you don't manage inflammation, it slows you down. Cold plunges work by shortening the body's inflammatory window. When you enter the ice, your blood vessels constrict, which reduces swelling and it numbs the nerves that cause soreness. But that's just phase one. The real magic happens after. When you step out and begin to warm up, your blood vessels rebound, they expand. And that sends a fresh wave of oxygen, nutrients, and enzymes exactly where your body needs them. Elite athletes have known this for years. They use it for consistency. Because when your recovery is fast, your training is repeatable. When your training is consistent, your results compound. When you're combining exercise with cold therapy, do the cold therapy first, then do the exercise, unless you're training really, really hard. If you're willing to trade off some muscle gain and not have sore muscles, you can ice after you exercise, but the best protocol, ice, then exercise. So using ice baths strategically can accelerate recovery, reduce inflammation, and keep your fitness plan on track. But there's another reason cold therapy is powerful and has nothing to do with muscles. It has to do with resilience. One of the most effective ways to build resilience is to put yourself into controlled discomfort and to do it daily. This is a new concept in the world of biohacking and it's called bicep, not this one, but brief, intense, conscious exposure to pain. Cold exposure is one of the cleanest, fastest ways to do exactly that. When you step into an ice bath, every instinct in your body is gonna tell you to get out. Your breath shortens, your muscles tense, and your brain screams. But if you can stay calm in that moment, control your breath, and lean into the discomfort, you are building resilience. 
Cold plunges trigger a powerful release of neurotransmitters like norepinephrine, dopamine, and endorphins. Your mood elevates, your focus sharpens, stress drops, and best of all, that bicep technique, it increases your body's ability to use dopamine throughout the day. So your mood's more elevated and it takes less willpower to get things done. It rewires your response to discomfort. It trains your nervous system to stay composed under pressure. And over time, that translates into every area of your life. You become calmer in chaos, more deliberate under stress, less reactive, and more intentional. Using cold exposure daily rewires your response to discomfort and it builds psychological toughness. But you will still not get all the benefits of ice baths if ice baths alone are all you do. In fact, that's where most people get it wrong. They do ice baths like this, get in cold, get out fast, post a reel. But the best upgrades don't come from isolated tools. They come from systems. Ice on its own is powerful and heat on its own is also powerful. But if you stack them together, you create something much more potent. It's called contrast therapy. Sauna, then plunge. Heat, then ice. The heat causes your blood vessels to dilate, your heart rate to rise, your body to sweat, and detox. The cold causes vasoconstriction, reduces inflammation, and triggers metabolic activation. Switching back and forth between the two forces your system to adapt on a deeper level, and it enhances circulation like nothing else. You're pumping blood through every vessel, flushing toxins, increasing nutrient delivery, and creating a cardiovascular workout without even moving. Oh, and it also dramatically increases your body's levels of growth hormone. So in a nutshell, when you combine heat and cold through contrast therapy, you unlock maximum benefits in minimum time. Don't have fancy equipment? Just start in your shower. Rotate between two minutes hot, one minute cold. Be sure to crank the shower handle to maximum cold. Do three rounds. It's free, it's easy, and you'll feel your body shift immediately. And make sure the water hits you in the face and chest. But if you want the full experience, Try a traditional sauna at 180 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 to 20 minutes, followed by a three minute plunge below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Repeat for up to three rounds. However, experts don't recommend this level of contrast therapy for beginners. High heat sauna sessions can pose risks, especially if you're dehydrated, pregnant, or if you have a cardiovascular condition or anything else wrong with you. So make sure you're healthy. You can talk to your doctor, your health coach, or just know you're healthy before you start any intense heat or cold exposure protocol and pay attention to how your body responds, it's okay to start slow. And that's why ice baths aren't just hype, but they're an actual gateway to better fat burning and full body upgrades, but only if you understand how to do it right.